Hello guys, I'm in Manila right now, right here in Las Piñas. It's summer, May, and it's very hot. But nonetheless, I'd like to share you what I what I did to to the bed of my pickup truck, which is a Ford Ranger 2009 model. For my initial projects, I used the Velcro to fasten and secure the tarps on top of the bed cover, and this is one of the covers that I did, so initially what I did was I sewed the uh, velcro onto the edges of the tarp. Of course the tarp should be at least uh, about the same size as the dimension of the bed liner. And My unit came with a uh, bed cover, which I think cost around uh, 20000 that time. But nowadays, 2018, when you buy this, uh, it range between about 25 to maybe 40,000 pesos and if you want to add a, a cover it uh, depends uh, on your budget but a simple one that can you know, prevent any rain from getting into uh, would set you back around 35,000 pesos which is about um, yeah, 600 to a thousand dollars so it's quite uh, expensive so what so I thought was uh, maybe I could do something about it so that's why I came up with this idea of using uh, tarp, tarp, tarps or tarpaulin uh, yeah, you need to remove the uh, the bed liner which is quite straightforward it's secured by this uh, allen screw right there which you can remove all uh, four of them and for the for the tailgate uh, they're usually secured by a screw like this one here which you can remove easily as well and and to attach the other pair of the velcro I use rubber cement again I sewed the uh, the velcro onto the uh, onto the tarpaulin and as you can see it from here so I, I uh, glued them I mean um, on the bed liner removing them first like that one here yeah so it goes like this and there yeah so there's the velcro right there the problem with the velcro though is that over time, as it's exposed to sunlight, it loses its stickiness. Uh, this one is still workable, but uh, over time they no longer work. So it would last about maybe a year or a year and a half, two years max from experience. So what I did is I tried other ways and now I'm using uh, buttons. So I used the same uh, uh, where the velcro is and uh, put these buttons which are normally used in in jackets and these are the buttons i used which come in pairs so there are two sets of them the male and the female so this one is the male this one is the female and they work like this okay. the problem though with this setup is that when it rains water can uh, gather on top of the tarpaulin and this can actually collapse and I had, um, I had several close calls so what I did was I put something in the middle to uh, um, put it a bit higher than the rest so that a uh, uh, pool of water would not gather uh, on top of the so the frame I used for the middle part of the bed cover is just a piece of one fourth by two wood can also use uh, bamboo for this matter and since uh, the bed liner doesn't have a way to anchor it so I use um, GI wires and uh, rope to, to secure them yeah this is just to, to ensure that uh, it stays there and since uh, um, the protrusion is only in the middle so I put another wood on top to make it wider and that way um, if the protrusion is too much, you can adjust it by putting another tie wire here, right? a tie right there. And since uh, there's just a bolt in the middle, you can also make this uh, uh, perpendicular to the vehicle, but I choose to do parallel. Sharing you some details on the button. So this is the, the male part. So this part here uh, goes through a hole, right? like so there. And then the other part, this one here goes on on the other side so this setup is um, very sturdy because the pole will be 
going this way and this uh, tarp is secured uh, inside by by uh, contact cement so the finished setup would look something like this as I mentioned you can adjust this um, the, the wood there the, the frame if you want it to be a bit higher or lower yeah since this uh, will be exposed to the elements some of this can get rusty particularly the middle one there although they're using um, bronze coated or bronze but to be safe uh, I put grease or oil um, to keep it from rusting yeah summary you can use either velcro to secure it or these buttons right here and for the material you can use uh, tarpaulin uh, this one is not so heavy duty uh, this will be cheaper I think 120 or 130 per meter this one which actually bought in General Santos during our vacation there it cost us uh, me uh, 182 pesos per square meter so you need uh, two meters for the whole setup so over uh, all in all um, this particular setup cost me less than 1,000 pesos so it is um, yeah twenty dollars at the most and so for the material I would recommend using this type of material which is uh, a bit thicker than this one and I heard and the guy that sold me this said that this is being used in trucks and uh, other heavy duty application unlike this one here which I believe is light duty over time it actually cracks so I hope that this would last a bit longer than the former material I used. yeah one thing the drawback of this kind of setup is it's not secured so you can just leave your valuable items here but from experience I don't I don't really bother um, as long as people are not aware that there's anything valuable inside of this they won't bother of you know stealing anything and for the past seven or eight years that I've been using this truck with this kind of setup I have not lost any valuable item inside the bed I found this uh, setup very practical because if I want to load uh, like cabinets and, and other materials that are much taller than the, the pickup truck you can just remove this one unlike we're using say the uh, the sturdy plastic cover which costs you about 35 to 1,000 to 50,000 pesos uh, you are very limited you might need to leave that behind but I like this one if you don't need to use it you, just, you can just uh, simply fold it so guys thank you for watching hope this has been helpful if you have any questions or comments uh, feel free to uh, write a comment below and I would gladly answer uh, as much as I could bye bye